You also mentioned in that video about a formula for Facebook retargeting budgets. Can you shed a little bit more light around how businesses should be allocating their budget for retargeting? Yeah, when it comes to retargeting on Facebook, we have done a lot of split testing here. Um, to see what the optimal budget is, where we're not wasting spend, but we're also not spending too little, where we're not capitalizing on all of the visitors on site. And what we've generally found across the board is that sitting between a four to a seven frequency is always the sweet spot. Any less than four, and you're really not hitting users enough to get them over the line. And any more than seven, and it's really just wasted spend. If someone's seen your retargeting ads seven times, um, it's very unlikely that they're going to be following through with a purchase. Unfortunately, they've already probably decided against it. Now to sit between that frequency, it's a very, very easy um, calculation. It's just your daily average visitors divided by 25. And the way that we know that it was, we've just tested it over time. We've just found what what's the daily, what's the correlation between daily visitors to budget? It's around about um, a 25 division of, of daily visitors. So if you are looking for just a quick, how much budget should we be allocating? That's always the line of thinking that I would go with. Now, given there are always these slight exceptions, if you have a lot of visitors coming through from blogs, it's going to skew it around a little bit. You might want to refine your targeting a little bit on retargeting, uh, but that's what I would I would be sticking with. Yeah, great. And look, we've um, briefly mentioned around multi-touch points. So how exactly does Google's performance max fit into a retargeting strategy? And would this be interacting with any Facebook traffic? Yeah, so the great thing about running a performance max campaign is that it's not only going to push its existing top of funnel traffic to bottom of funnel retargeting, but it's going to capture all visitors on site. So it doesn't matter how someone visits site, whether it's through an EDM, whether it's through organic, whether they go uh, direct, whether it's through a social ad, the performance max is going to retarget those, those users across display, discover, Gmail, and the list goes on. That gives you the ability to hit those seven touch points that are really required cross-platform. And I know that's something that you're going to touch on a little bit. But if you aren't running a performance mass campaign, and this is the critical thing to keep in mind here, then you absolutely should be running retargeting campaigns in some capacity alongside your existing structure so that you're retargeting all of the social traffic. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, we've ran display campaigns in the past. We've ran retargeting uh, YouTube campaigns in the past. They never work. They never, they never get attributed for conversion. Versions. They're always at under one row as. The reason why that's the case is because generally speaking, the click on those retargeting ads won't generate the purchase, but it will push the user further down the funnel into a branded campaign. And so when you're setting up these retargeting campaigns across Google and you're allocating $10 a day to display retargeting, $10 a day to YouTube retargeting, don't look at direct attribution in campaigns and instead look at top line revenue and look at the impact that it has over a two week period. So maybe the first half of the month you're not running them and then the second and a half of the month you are and you should see a significant uptick in revenue and if you don't then kill the campaigns and clearly a dynamic retargeting across the google network doesn't work that well for your brand um, but definitely don't look solely at the google ads platform when it comes to these middle of funnel bottom of funnel retargeting campaigns where the last click likely isn't going to be directly attributed to that ad if you're spending over ten thousand dollars a month across google and facebook ads click the link below to our website reach out to us for a completely free 90-day action plan and back-end audit where we'll run through the back end of your ad account providing you with a 60 to 90 minute video where we'll give you the steps to take your ad account to spending 20, 30, and then ultimately $40,000 per month, where it starts to make sense to find a growth partner like ourselves to work together to take you to that next level.